ZEOD, or Z-E-O-D, stands for Zero Emissions On Demand Racing Car. So this is all about us trialling battery and electric technology in something that's really exciting, that will compete in the world's toughest endurance race. Well, today's quite a big day. This tub, or the base of the chassis, um, has arrived today uh, for all of the other parts to be assembled around it. In a very short space of time, this piece of carbon here will be turned into a racing car. Up to this point, it's all been in the designer's minds, on the designer's computers, uh, in simulation technology, but now something exists, something physical, that actually means we are going to Le Mans in about nine months' time. The Nissan Zeod RC aims to become the first car to do a four-minute electric lap at Le Mans. And when it's running under full electric power, it will have a horsepower equivalency of about 300 to 320 horsepower. There's some fundamental differences with this tub over uh, our competitors. This section of the tub is actually quite big compared to um, some other tubs, and that's fundamentally because we've tried to grow this surface out so there's no additional bodywork, and this is actually um, aerodynamic surface. There's no clutch pedal for the driver. Um, clutch actuation is, is completely handled outside of uh, driver control. Here you'll see a Xylon panel, it's a 3 mil thick panel and that's designed as an anti-intrusion. It's part of the safety measures, part of the technical regulations. Into the doors, again there's some safety measures here. Um, you can see here sort of the, the, the handle, door handle, and on the hinges there's some quick release buttons here so if there's a problem we can actually get the doors, or well, the driver can get the doors off and it's the same from the outside and that's obviously designed to sit around the helmet and to stop the, the head from moving too far. And you'll see that continuation onto the door, so when the door's shut, that completely encapsulates the, the helmet. On top, you'll see the start of the roof fin, uh, and that is, again, is part of the technical regulations. It's a safety measure that was introduced a few years back, which was designed to help stop the car from uh, turning over. Fuel filler here, there's one of these on either side, and one side is for filling the fuel and the other side is to breathe the air out whilst you're filling so that you can fill the tank very quickly. You see these two shapes here, the battery fits in from underneath and you have two cooling hoses which are coming out through here. Fuel is being fed from here and then this aperture here is where the high voltage uh, battery cables will come out and then they'll sweep around to the motor controller which is going to sit about here. Motor sitting on the gearbox about here, engine sitting about here. This car doesn't have a rear spoiler. Uh, and that is part of the aerodynamic concept um, to try and keep the uh, drag low and we're really trying to utilise the underfloor as much as possible to generate all of the downforce. Theoretically this car will generate enough downforce that you could drive it upside down. We're about innovation that excites and certainly using electric technology in a race car is something that's very, very new. Lots of people are now doing it, but we're going to lead that area. Like a lot of things we do in motorsport, this project is about the fans. It's about lifting up the garage door and letting you see it. So you can watch the build of this car on Nismo TV.